Can I help you? Well, it looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. Men getting killed. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. Hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on a boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them don't get you. Five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. The fellow over there will run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. 5,000 for horses. They must be rich. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. How we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Okay. 
<sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. In front of you. On you go. Yeah. Alright. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. Who's riding who there, buddy? Yeah. All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he a hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Whoa, now. easy. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier? You're gonna lead the stallions. There, boy. Good boy. Good boy. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. 
I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. Whoa. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I got the back! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We'll be around! I can't stop these men! Stop! Just, just over, over there. there. Come, Come on. on. Let's, Let's get, get this, this over, over with. with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll, That'll be, be on, on my gravestone. Whoa. You think, think they, they look like, like they're, they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Easy. Want. Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That's so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Maybe. Why, Why, what do you, do you care? care? You, you ain't, ain't Cuban. Cuban. Maybe, Maybe I, I like, like Cubans. Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're, you're funny. funny. He's funny. Ain't, ain't funny, funny, Clive? Clive, Clive don't, don't talk. talk. We're, We're twins, twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... 
I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Good morning. Don't know what we're gonna do with you. I don't either. Fuck up. It's gonna be all right. All right then, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. You okay? Don't get too comfortable now. I won't. Well, rest while you can. We got work to do soon. All right, Morgan. How's it going? Micah. Uh, morning. Good. Some of them here, they treat me all right. That's Working good. hard as ever? I make the money, not wash the clothes. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. All right, Morgan. It all happens for a reason. Arthur! Arthur! What you making there, old man? A little medicine. Real medicine or snake oil? Just who you think you're speaking to. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you find any ginseng, I'll make some for you. It's easy enough. It'll keep you well. Even with my illness, it's kept me alive far too long. Oh, you'll outlive us all. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Sure, Arthur. So I got a hold of some ginseng. Ah, perfect. I'll make some of that tonic for you. Thanks. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Reverend. Good morning, Arthur. 
Always good to see. Thanks for all your efforts. You're very welcome. You awake? I'm sleeping, Arthur. You were snoring, that's all. Quit with the ruckus! I'm tired. Hey. If you're not interested... Could really use some good meat for this stew.